Hi, I'm Deacon Jim. This is St. Bernadette in Los Angeles, California, and today is Wednesday, April 22nd. We come together today, as we always do, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning, and they taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin and the full senate of the children of Israel, and they sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what they would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area, and they are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all the distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God saved the world and he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel. Of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we hear the reading from the most, probably the most familiar, and certainly the most quoted passage in the Bible. We hear it quoted often. We see it put in football stadiums, baseball stadiums. We see it plastered on the wall, and oftentimes it's just the code, the address in the Bible for the reading, and that is John 3.16. As a young Presbyterian kid, it was the first Bible piece of scripture that I had to memorize, and I memorized it in the King James Version. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Somebody once told me, and I believe it's true, that the entire Bible can be condensed into that line. That everything that came before Jesus leading up to him and everything that is told about afterwards in the Bible all leads back to, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's break that down a little bit. How hard is it for us to give anything of ours away? You know, I mean, how many of us wince when we have to loan something to a neighbor, when a neighbor wants to borrow the lawnmower or a shovel or some power tool, you know, or some, hey, can I borrow a dollar from you? So, you know, how often are we so tense and uptight that, oh, are we ever going to get that back? You know. You know, how many often do people ask us to do things or give us, give them things, and we're going to, oh, we walk away thinking, I'll never be repaid for this. I'll never get that back. I'll never see this guy again. And what does God give up? It certainly isn't a lawnmower. It certainly isn't a $5 bill. It certainly isn't a small loan. God gives up his only begotten son. Now, what power does that give us? Then we start realizing that when we start living out our life in Christ. We see the power of what happens with Peter and, the, and John today. Then they get thrown in prison and the angel just comes and releases them. But he sends them back to work. He sends them back to the temple area. And notice the difference from the first time when the, the priests and the Sanhedrin are so cocky and so arrogant and such bullies. But this time, they teach them, they treat them with respect, right? They bring them, uh, could you please come, please? Because they're afraid that they're going to create problems for people. That power that comes from being able to operate through Christ, through God, without compunction, without worry, without stress, that's what Christianity is about. And if you've ever met a person, um, I personally have never met a saint, either before they became a saint or, after, you know, obviously afterwards they'd be dead. But I have met some saintly people, and it always amazes me how nothing bothers them. Nothing. You, they're unflappable. They are so much, okay, God, that's the way things are, and they lay everything at the feet of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, if you do not get anything else out of the Bible, get John 3, 16. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in that son shall not die but have everlasting life. Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God in the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely with these common petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Jose, and for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be blessed with the zeal and courage to proclaim the values and the obligations of our holy religion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders and representatives on the national and local levels, that their laws and their lives be an inspiration to all citizens by reflecting right reason and divine revelation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth in particular, that they be given the encouragement and the guidance they need to resist the immoral and sinful presence of our current pagan culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the needy, the aged, and the lonely, that they be consoled spiritually by the gifts of grace and also receive care, aid, and loving concern from relatives, friends, and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we thank God for the healing of Father Brian O'Rourke. Father Brian's 80 years old. He was in intensive care with the coronavirus. I was notified today that he was released from intensive care. He's still in the hospital. So God bless us and God bless him for that. For those who have died recently, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal intent. May these and those entered into the prayer and petition books throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, bless us by granting these common petitions. For we plead to you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and let the church say, Amen. And let us pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear Lord, graciously we present to your people and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to a newness of life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thank you.